The Arcade Archives is proud to present the Poke Battlecast, starring your host, UberNerd527. Hello, Arcaders, and welcome to the first ever Poke Battlecast. My name is UberNerd527, and I'm excited to be here with you today. What is the Poke Battlecast? Well, it's a chance for me and all the Pokemon trainers out there to learn a little bit about competitive battling. I've been playing Pokemon since the beginning, back in 98 when I got red version for the Game Boy. The thing I liked about the game the most was battling, spending time with your Pokemon and training them, and watching them fight. It's like a chess match using strategy and split-second thinking to outwit your opponent. But it wasn't until the release of Pokemon X and Y that I found out how involved and how it was. To keep this video from going too long, I won't go into all that, but I will put links in the description so you can find out the stuff for yourself. The goal of this video is to be another resource to help those Pokemon trainers out there who may be interested in competitive battling. Or, if you're not interested in that, it could be a fun video with some interesting Pokemon battles for you to watch. I will be showing some of my Pokemon battles, not because I think that I'm the best trainer, but to show how I battle, and then give you out there a chance to leave advice on battle strategies that might have to improve the team that I'm showcasing, or some battle strategies that you may think may work better. Then I will use the feedback in each video so that the viewer can get all the ideas to help you. Now without further ado, let's get to Before it. Before we get into the battle, let's go ahead and meet the team. So this team was created in Black 2 and I transferred them to Pokemon Y using the Pokebank. And the team is, in no particular order, Emolga, an electric flying type, Fratalily, a grass rock type, Haxorus, a dragon type, Genesect, a steel bug type, Keldeo, a water fighting type, and finally Golark, a ghost ground type. Now, please forgive me if I did mispronounce their names. I'll try to get better as, as the video goes along. But anyway, now let's keep in mind that I did make this team before I started getting into competitive battling, so it may not be the best team. But, I do like the battle, and up until a certain point, it's a really good one. So let's take a look. Alright, we're going to go right into the battle now. So this battle was done, uh, you know, right when I was sitting at MegaCon and uh, I found someone. And I started off with my Cradlely here. Um, he's one of my starters for the team, and uh, he pulled out Politoed right away. Politoed's special ability was Drizzle, so uh, he gets a little boost there. Um, and he used Toxic right away, which kind of uh, made me kind of panic a little bit here. But I went ahead and just hit him with an Energy Ball which uh, kind of swelled some of his, uh, half of his HP right there. Um, but I was still kind of worried about my Cradlily. Um, but of course he started to withdraw. You're going to see in this battle that uh, I, uh, we both kind of just we threw our Pokemon a lot here. Now he pulls out a Scizor and uh, ironically after uh, as recording this video I realized that my Cradlily has uh, Earthquake which probably could have done some major damage to Scizor, but I didn't think about that until afterwards. So, anyways, I pulled out my Golark, uh, who also has Earthquake as well. Um, but I tried to do a fighting type move, uh, him being a steel type and all, uh, hopefully trying to hit him with that. Uh, but as you can see in just a few seconds, uh, this is not going to be too effective. Uh, my Golark is able to take a lot of punishments. Uh, However, the bullet punches, I guess, were a little too much for him. And there he goes, knocked out. So next up is my Keldeo, which I actually thought was a great idea because um, it being raining and all, it would give him a boost. Uh, my opponent apparently thought that to switch Pokemon again, which was kind of good and kind of bad in the same way because he pulled out his Rotom and I uh, knocked out about 25% of his attack power. I decided I wanted to use Workup because I, I thought that would help me out a little bit. Um, I regrettably got hit by the Thunder Wave and what I should have done is I should have pulled out another Pokemon instead that probably could have taken out could have taken out Rotom but unfortunately that didn't happen. So again, withdraw again <laughs> uh, which is going to be a big 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 theme here. So he pulled out his Ampharos which again not too good and the fact that I, again, hit him really hard, especially since I did work up. But I had to pull my Keldeo back because the rain stopped, so I pulled out my Haxorus instead. And, 
Um, so Hex just will finish off Infras here. So then, next up would be Scizor, uh, which I knew that my uh, Haxorus uh, was probably not up to the task of taking up Mega Scizor. So I decided to pull out Molga instead, and actually this was a really great idea. Um, I had actually forgot when I pulled out Molga that his special ability was static, so now uh, Scizor was paralyzed, which gave me a great, great advantage here. And you'll see that a little bit later on. Uh, I knew that he pulled out his Politoed because he kind of wanted to do it like a sacrificial kind of lamb kind of thing. Um, and uh, for some reason I decided to do Flash right away. I'm not really exactly sure why, but you know. And then of course I just did Thunderbolt to knock him out. Um, now my Emolda is built for double team and Flash. So I, my, my what I try to do is I try to make sure that my opponents can't hit me at all, um, especially since Amolga has uh, not the greatest of stats. Anyways, um, I was really surprised when he got off this Hydro Pump, um, especially since I had just done Double Team, so I was really surprised when that happened, um, almost through my uh, DS. And here comes my Genesex, um, which will knock out Rotom here. The Genesex is actually pretty cool. I didn't want to use him at first, but after using him for a little bit, I do think he's a cool Pokemon. Now, this is where I make my first mistake. Um, Quiver Dance. This is going to really screw me over for the rest of the battle. Um, what I should have done instead of Zap Cannon, which I did for Genesex, is I should have done his other move, which was Technoblast, which actually is a Water-type move, which would have helped out greatly instead of switching out to Keldeo here. But for some reason I didn't do that, so here we go. Uh, Kelvio will get knocked out here, and his special attack will go up. Um, and there you have it. And there goes Kelvio. Sorry, buddy. Anyways, here comes Genesex out again because then I realized what my mistake was, but I think it was probably a little too late by then uh, because this is when I get my butt handed to me. Uh, this is definitely uh, going to hurt a lot. Um, so he keeps raising his special attack. Uh, and uh, you'll see here in a minute that uh, that is not going to be good for the rest of my team. Um, I was hoping to get something off with Cradle Lily, but Cradle Lily has a very, very slow Pokemon. He's only supposed to be a starter, not necessarily supposed to be pulled out for anything else. Here comes Haxorus. Now, I thought this was a good idea, but I forgot how high uh, this Pokemon <laughs> special attack was. And down goes Haxorus. And that's pretty much the battle. Uh, I will have to say it was probably a pretty hard one. And that's it. Well... I hope you enjoyed this, the first Poke Battle Gas video, and please don't forget to comment on it below if you have any ideas for battle strategies or you just really liked it. But don't forget, if you really like this video, go to the Arcade Archives blog for a cool mix of old school and new school video game articles and videos. And of course, don't forget my monthly webcomic, Tales from the Game Grid. Once again, this is UberNerd527 reminding you to keep on battling.